ladies and gentlemen welcome to yet another round of alpha bites a program which brings presidents from all over the district to your doorstep to hear what they have to say on matters which concern rotary both serious and not so serious today we have with us our distinguished guest mrs pushpa surya murthy she was born and brought up in mumbai and then did her english literature graduated in english literature then went on to do law not content with that she did courses in export management and in travel and tourism she worked as an export executive for some time and then for about 20 years she ran her own travel agency she joined the inner wheel club of mumbai north island and then rose to become its president in 1987 where she did fantastic projects which are still talked about in her club then went on to head the district becoming the Innerville district chairman in 99 2000 not content with that she went on to become the association president for the whole of india in 2013 14 when she also organized a massive rally in in mumbai uh, on behalf of the Innerville. her good work was recognized by her parent rotary club they invited her to be the honorary member of their club and for two years she re remained as an honorary member but she was not content with that she wanted to get her hands soiled so she became a club secretary last year in 2021-22 and this year in 22-23 we have her as the president of the rotary club of mumbai north island a club in which her husband was the charter secretary way back when it was started so pushma welcome to alpha bites thank you very much and thank you for the lovely intro Pushpa, we are going to uh, uh, ask you some searching questions. You know, there is a lot of murmur in the background in the district. I don't know whether you started this murmur or others did. That there's too much interference or into inverted commas guidance from the district officers. Do this, do that or something. You think this is good or you think clubs should be given more freedom? Since I have already been a district chairman, I know what it is to be in that chair. And I would definitely say it is not an interference at all. There are so many Rotary presidents who have not taken up any other posts before becoming the president. Some of them have become secretary, but some of them have not taken president uh, any other posts. So then to be a president, you require a guide. Who better than a district governor? A district governor can guide the presidents. Only then can the president go up. Like this year, we have this RotaryIndia.com wherein we upload all our projects. Now, every month when you are uploading, you are realizing, yes, I have done this much. I may have to do so much more. And that is where, because the DG is guiding you. So I would definitely say it's not an interference. It is a guide. Uh, moving on to um, uh, something which is uh, breaking news that I just got a phone call that uh, Deepika Padukone is ready to join your club. Provided she is made a member of the board of directors, would you agree? And if so, what position would you give her? I would agree on two counts. Deepika Padukone is from Bangalore. I am from Bangalore. <laughs> My grandparents were from Bangalore. <laughs> and Prakash Padukone was a badminton player. I am a badminton player. So forget all that. But Deepika Padukone, I would definitely take her in the board. Not because who or uh, because being Pra Prakash Padukone's daughter, but the fact that she has come out in the open about depression. She has been so vocal about it that she can be taken in the board as a vocational service director and go in for counseling. She can go for counseling to different clubs. And I'm sure the clubs where men are there, they would welcome Deepika any day and she would get a crowd. And where there are school children, again, it's Deepika. And they would listen to her and she would tell her personal experiences. And when she says personal experiences, what she went through due to depression, which would also hold members who are in sport. Her father being a badminton player, I'm sure she would imbibe uh, interest in the children for sports and not go into depression when they lose. So that's the reason I feel Deepika should be there. Thanks, Pushpa. I will convey it to Deepika and if something materializes, I'll let you know. Please. But an, another controversy which has been bugging people is that, you know, you become president and there is a whole host of 11 projects your previous presidents have started and they want you to continue those and you've got your own projects also you want to handle. So should we concentrate on strengthening the old projects 
or should we just start a whole host of new projects i think i would combine the two like suppose now you have been doing old projects for last 5 6 years or 10 years in a uh, cancer hospital you go ahead with that hospital but try to do imbibe something new in that hospital like recently there has been a cancer hospital where people initially would just go and give grains they would go and give clothes they would give medicines but now we understand some of them their foot are amputated so they do make jaipur food for these cancer children so bring something new so mix old and new continue with old but bring your own ideas into this uh, old projects and continue with this pushpa i am going to ask you something connected to you know see innovel as far as i know doesn't have any classification principle yeah. we have this lousy boring classification principle where everyone who comes in is given a classification we have a classification committee where only that fellow who is heading it and usually the same guy for 20 years knows what to do and give classifications you think it is relevant or should be dump this classification principle and and have uh, no classifications like you know it does it I, help in rotary I, i don't agree with you no no i think we require classification more for the members like uh, somebody did mention now that uh, during covid time you could find out people who are in different businesses now in classification you know who is doing what in their personal life now the roster comes out some don't have roster but we do know the rotarians what they are good in suppose now uh, you have a family problem and you want to make a will and you don't want to trust a stranger but you know a rotarian who is a lawyer so you will automatically call him or her and say can you help me with this how do i go about making a will similarly if you get a heart attack you do not know any doctor but you know this rotarian from my club is a doctor you automatically call him and i am sure based on the classification rotarians come out to help you and they are ever willing to help each other so classification is definitely needed i don't agree with you you are there but where innovil is concerned unfortunately what has happened is initially we came in as wives of rotarians so they were not bothered what you are on your personal level but recently we do have people in uh, different uh, fields we do have doctors we have entrepreneurs but yes we do not take them based on their classification Pushpa, but what how is how much of a disciplinary are you are you have 10 members in your club who are not attending 100% non attendance they are not contributing yes they pay them their annual dues but aside from that they are doing nothing they are not coming for projects let's sack them all so that everyone else will get so scared they'll shiver and then every attendance of everyone else will also improve aapka kya khayal uh do you really think at the age after 35 years you should expel a person i mean in a school when you are expelled you feel so disgraced so imagine a rotarian at 35 40 50 years you tell that person oh you are not contributing you are not attending the meeting you are not attending the projects so you don't have to automatically they are out if they don't pay their dues for one year they don't pay their dues next year they are not a rotarian so let them go by themselves why should you disgrace a person in fact i would put it the other way take it in a positive way make members call them up as a president i would like to call them up and ask them the reason why they are not coming and see that they come for projects at least one project in 3 months come for meeting maybe once in 3 months once they start coming they make friends they know yes i can come and i will come and you will find they are there don't disgrace anybody Thank you Pushpa it was wonderful i think you brought a lot of experience from Innovil and you're using it to help Rotary to grow thank you so much for your interview thank you thank very you. much thank you and you were wonderful thank you of service in love we will our rotary we will our we will our rotary we will our we will our rotary truth is our right love is our might we will our rotary